Ready? Hold on. One, give me one second. One second. Hold on. Steve must have to pass. Yeah. Hey, don't beat that. Hey, fellas, on hey fellas uh, I don't want to kick, uh, come in, but I just want to let you know you're live. So, yep. All right. hey, welcome, world. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, it's Tuesday night, and you know what that means. It's the Bama Standard, the number one Alabama show ever. Presented by the CTS Interview Room. We are the all-star lineup who brings you an all-star lineup every single week. We got all-SEC linebacker Marvin Constant, comedy legend Steve Brown, senior analyst of Touchdown Alabama Magazine, Mr. Stephen M. Smith, and I'm the over-the-hill powerlifter in Bama grad, Justin Riley, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. guys what y'all think about that hey 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 i'm good man i'm just great. wondering about steve got his <laughs> iron man. <laughs> hey man no i i you know marvin marvin got got a new headset and i want to i want to i don't want to be outdone so i just wanted to you know i got my son's game headset so i'm just trying to <laughs> Oh, you look like you're about to you know? bring in a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, every, yeah everybody, everybody uh, got their secret weapons. You know, um, Marvin got his 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 headset. Steven got his glasses. So I'm gonna get me some. I'm gonna outdo everybody. <laughs> yeah. And they fogged up too, Steve. Look at that. Yeah, man. <laughs> look, this, this thing makes me want to say control. I feel like I look Jack Jackson. I think Steve needs some Rainex on those glasses. <laughs> man what's up guys hey let's go ahead like and jump mess. into our <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into our favorite segment that is constant chaos and what this is all about if you're new to our show it allows marvin to go on his rants about anything that's going on in college football as well as the regular world or alabama marvin what do you have for us this week hey man I was taken back a few days ago by some events that unfolded in Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oklahoma receiver received quite the ass whooping. <laughs> Him and his homeboy decides they're going to pick on two little dudes in the bathroom. <laughs> if you've seen the yeah. video, those two little dudes proceed to tear their asses off <laughs> and all types of piss <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Yes. Not only did you get your ass beat, you needed a techno shot from all the piss you got your ass beat in. <laughs> I guess that's why Oklahoma isn't doing so well in football because they don't know what to fight like in the fourth quarter. <laughs> that sooner got oh. boomer. <laughs> so, so hold on, wait, wait, wait. So they they decided they wanted to beat some people up and got beat up. Oh, uh, Steve, his homeboy mushes the guy. The guy, his nose is bleeding. He does this. He says. <laughs> And he unleashed them hands. When I say it looked like a tornado on his ass. <laughs> wow. Dude, that's, that's putting it generously, man. That dude. <laughs> that dude, man, looked like he was in the middle of a WWE gone wrong ring, dude. It, it was bad. <laughs> now, oh, then he puts him in some type of rear naked chokehold. Oh, I mean, I mean, okay, so as a receiver, to get your ass beat like that and be all over TV and YouTube and Internet, it's kind of hard to go back to football practice. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, he, he didn't get his he didn't get his ass beat. He received the ass beat, and he caught it. Hey, look, so so, 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 Steve, you line up across him for practice. Can you even respect him as a wide receiver? 
<laughs> you know what? I'll be like, I'll, I'll be like, I, I, I if, you, if you catch this ball, I'm gonna go get the dude from the bathroom <laughs> and just, just mess up his whole day. And the, I mean, and the thing is, the thing is, what's crazy is he's the receiver, but the dude that whooped his ass see. got hands. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but you know, my whole thing though, I've never been a proponent of bullies and people that pick on little people, people smaller than them. I feel like he fully and wholeheartedly got the ass whooping he deserved, him and his homeboy, both of them. He did. <laughs> well, you know what? I, 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 I got a different take on bullying. See, I used to get bullied, but it wasn't because I was this wimpy kid. I used to start the stuff with the bullies and then get beat up in front of everybody, and then the girls would feel sorry for me. <laughs> and then, then, up, then when then when me and the girl get into an argument, the girl will end up with my ass. So I had to stop it all together. Yeah, you better off just kicking it to yourself. Yeah. Well, did you go to a lot of twelve step programs after that for emotional I support? I did. I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, this is a safe place, Steve. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to oh. be here. Man, I tell you what, the reason we're here tonight, we are celebrating the SEC champion Alabama Crimson Tide men's basketball team. The first time in 19 years, guys. Man, it's hard to believe. And with us tonight, we got some guests who are on that last team. Marvin, I want you to go ahead and introduce these guys. Man, these when we oh, talk wow. about basketball, these names come up on every conversation. But before I introduce them, Justin, has it ever happened that a school has won an SEC championship in football and basketball in the same year? Uh, Florida, yeah, Florida actually. did it. Oh, they don't count. They cheat. All right, guys, without yeah. further ado. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Marvin. Marvin thought he was going to make a, a, a great astronomical nah. point, and when it got shot down, it's like, well, it don't matter. Nah, I was just curious yeah. if it's ever happened before, but I know they cheat. It's like. They were giving Cam Newton stolen laptops and all kind of other stuff down there. So, you know, we don't know what they be doing down there. Hey, hey man, but you know something? I'm glad that we are celebrating Bama's basketball team because Bama's basketball program hadn't won an SEC championship since I was in 12th grade them three times. I tried oh, to wait on them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, our guest, the one and only, all SEC, all American, SEC Player of the Year, Mr. Irvin Dudley, ladies and gentlemen. What Next up, dog? Up. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, dog? No, no, what up? Next hey, hey, um, hey, excuse me, Marvin. You forgot to mention that he's a proud, proud, active financial member of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, well, greatest fraternity in the world. You forgot to mention that. There you go. Yeah, please active mention that. There you yes. go. Hey, hey, Steve did it for you. So, there next, is. Next guest, ladies and gentlemen, another all SEC player, all American. And if you ask him, he will deny it to this day how I dunked on him in the rec center one day. Rod, <laughs> resort. Still denying it. But what up, though? <laughs> that hey, man, I, I, that hey, never man, happened. I, um, I, I really, I, I, I like Rod's game. I always love Rod's game. Until he uh, called the trail spirit well and told him to jump on PJ Carmelo Carlissimo. Car That's when I stopped, you know, the reading is funny. He called the trail and told him to jump on the coach. I I, I, I was done with it then. Hey, Steve, you need some phonics <laughs> over there. You were struggling with that uh, Carlissimo I, name. What I, 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 I was. I was. And you, you're supposed to be on stage, you know, and be great with speech and everything. That's cool. Hey, <laughs> hey man, man. Is, 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 is this about. Is this about basketball or is it about my speech impediments? Which one? <laughs> I, 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 it's okay, Steve. Want you to want you to spit it out, that's all. That's it. That's okay. We'll, we'll give you – hey, we'll, we'll give you your candy necklace in a minute. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we also have another guest joining us. He hadn't jumped on yet. So when he does, it'll be another all-SEC former Alabama basketball player, Mr. Kennedy Winston, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All star lineup. Hey, I want to start out with that uh, the infamous dunk that you're talking about. Can we go a little deeper into that? Yeah, that never happened. See the way my knees set up. Yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> but your knees were fine back then, man. What happened between you and Rod? Nothing. I I, I stayed out of the gym because that was not my element. I stuck to the gridiron where I knew I was good, 
Mm-mm. I let them have basketball. That's all. Yeah, me. yeah, Marvin. I, I I saw your game before. Marvin be, be finger rolling from the free throw line. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> George Gervin. Yeah, he, <laughs> <that's> right. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's all about the touch, baby. Well, guys, that's it. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, thank you all for coming on. We have a lot to talk about tonight, uh, definitely a lot to be excited about. We just won the first SEC title in 19 years. Um, with the success we're having this season, you know, I can't help but think it mirrors the rise to the top you guys had. How would you say uh, both of those compare? Let's we'll start with you, Irwin. Man, I think it <clears> – <throat> I think it, you know, you know, I think with this, with uh, with this, this year's team, and I think, you know, with the Nate Oates era, I think that, you know, it was kind of like, you know, we knew that we could have a good, you know, good team or, you know, a good year, but I think it happened so fast, you know, it happened, you know, it happened just like that, even on the offensive end and the defensive end. For us, you know, I think it took it took us three years for us to do it, and um, but we we kind of like we kind of climb the ladder step by step or whatever. Like our freshman year we came in, mm, so a par record. Then our and then our sophomore year, um, had a good record, got snubbed from the tournament. We went we went to um we, we lost to uh Tulsa and NIT up in New York in the finals. And I think that kind of paved our way for that next year. Uh, we we added a few pieces and I think that we, with us adding those few pieces that kind of um, they kind of paid away for us, and I think that that's the reason why we had a good year because you know we we jail we worked hard even more um, that summer in, to prepare for you know prepare to prepare for our junior year because you know we felt like we got snubbed our um, you know our sophomore years, um, and so that's that's what I think it was. Well, I, I just want to interject one quick thing. Most people forget that y'all play together. And uh, Gerald Wallace, Mo Williams, y'all had quite the collection of talent while y'all That was a squad. Team. That was yeah. a squad. Yeah, it was. Y'all had a very dynamic team, man. And a lot of people don't talk about that team. And I don't know how they don't because the talent y'all had was phenomenal, man. Well, what I, what I can say, too, you know uh, – well, this guy, with this guy Rod, I mean, I still to this day, I you know, I tell people like he's probably one of the most talented players I ever played with. I mean, we played. Um, I remember when we first we first played together at AAU, man, and I mean, he just is you know, silky smooth, left handed kid, man. I mean, I'm talking about can do can do anything with the basketball, like and still to this day or whatever. People think that, and I and I t- people still think that when Yao Mean came over here. That was his first time coming to the states or whatever. We played against them. Ron, you remember we played against them out of California, or whatever. And you caught him. You caught him on the basket and dunked, dunked on him. Yeah. Long, we were yeah. in San Diego. We were San Diego. San Diego. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yep. So you you dunked you dunked on Yao Ming. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was San Diego. It was it played. was kind of like somebody drove got fouled. They dished it to me, but they caught a foul on the play, and I continued to play. He challenged it. I dunked it, but it didn't count because they had already caught a foul. No, and that, yeah. it, oh, it, it counted. Count. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Count. Do you know how many <laughs> women I've been with that didn't count? It counted. It, 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 it counted. <laughs> no, nah, all those count. It was in my count. mind. It was in my mind. It counted. Hey, Steve, they said in less than five seconds it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all heart. think so, – so let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think the team y'all had then could beat this team right now? I believe y'all can, but I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. They be shooting threes from everywhere. And the only thing is none of them – and it's, it's crazy to me because none of them got hair like Kevin Durant. I don't understand it. I thought for you to shoot threes like that, you got to have hair like Kevin Durant. But obviously, you know. I mean, you got to think about the rosters we had. You think about Ernest Shell, Travis Stennett. They shot the three. I mean, they didn't get a lot of minutes, but they could shoot myself – then you go Doc Martin when he he played, he was shooting the three. So Petway was shooting the three. I mean, you just have to write it down and look at it, honestly. I think we probably were bigger on the oh, perimeter. Definitely, than this yeah, year yeah, definitely, so, yeah, definitely bigger. 
that might that might factor. But their playing style is different because more of an up tempo offense they run versus what Godfrey had us running. And you know what? But, I ain't gonna tell you no lie. I always felt like Godfrey handcuffed y'all. He tied y'all hand one hand behind y'all back. He never unleashed all the talent that y'all really had. Because if I was y'all's coach, I'd have just gave y'all the ball until you just go do what you do. And they and and they would have been thing, over. Man. Y'all would have lost all y'all games. So <laughs> Marvin has no strategy. If I was a coach, just go get the ball, run in the stands, do what the hell. Hey, you listen. Do. With, that much, <laughs> with that much talent hey, on the hey, floor, for real, quietly, some of them games went with no strategy anyway. <laughs> but yeah, we we may do. But I mean, as a coach, sometimes you have structure, and if you trying to excel to the next level you want to kind of have your structure sometimes overshadow what your players can do and that could be beneficial sometimes a lot of times it could hurt but if you mm -hmm. just look at the rosters we had over the years while we were there and we left the mcdonald's all americans that yeah. came in the guys who are yeah. in the league now or who have a greater chance we should have been had way more than one sec championship in the last 19 years Y'all should have been national champions with the roster that, that y'all had. I'm talking about from SEC player of the year, Mr. Dudley, all the All-Americans. I mean, come on. Y'all with, with, with Gerald Wallace and all those other guys. Come on, man. Mo Williams, Mo won with several NBA championships. How can you not win with the team? Yeah. You right. Well, you're right. But, you know, a lot of times when, well, it's, it's time, when the it's a lot of time is doing off that, mm -hmm. Go ahead, Gregor. Well, you gotta remember, Marvin. You know, back in, go ahead. Back in the early, back in the early nineties, the same can be said about the team with that with uh, Robert Ory, Latrell Sprewell, James Hollywood Robinson. I mean, those guys were in the NBA for how long? I mean, and, and the, the, you sit here and you ask, man, why didn't we win a national title with those guys? But they were good, but not as good as these guys. All right, back, hey, back man, all. I, 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 <laughs> I agree with that. A lot of hey, you a know, lot of it's, you know it's what timing, now, I, the only the thing I remember chemistry. about James Hollywood Robinson was he was a scorer and he had the worst fade I've ever seen in my life. That's that's what I remember. His fade was awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hollywood had the, he had the part up the side or what? yeah, it was awful. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. And then it was it was it was shaved all around. It was awful. It, 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 it wasn't mm. it wasn't blended or nothing. It was just up there like a <laughs> like a cracked plate. It was just up there. It, it, <laughs> it should have been his name should have been I don't give a damn Robinson because he. he I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Hold up. Why are you laughing, uh, uh, Justin? In in, in uh, Hollywood from, from Jackson, Mississippi. Your uh, yeah, he is. He played at Murrah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yep. your hometown. Yeah, yeah. that's a, that, that's that's where Mo came from too. So yeah, right down the street. Oh wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Rod, your freshman year, you weren't uh, sure, you know, if you were going to be a leader or a follower. You went to Coach Gottfried and. He left it up to you uh, during that upset of Auburn that year. You made a pretty big statement what your answer was. Can you talk about that game for you? Basically, just coming into college basketball as a high school freshman, I almost got sent home the first couple months of school, honestly. What? Mainly because the small school I went to, we didn't work out. We just played five on five. So – you know, you get in and it's structure, you're lifting weights, you got study hall and different things like that. And I went adjusting to it. We running and doing different things and I just couldn't keep up. I'm kind of slowing the team down in progression. You know, Godfrey kind of got upset with it. We met one-on-one -on -one a few times. And he was like, you know, um, we're going to come in one-on-one -on -one ourselves and work and we're going to get through it. But just basketball-wise, it was mainly just we were trying to figure out what we could do as a whole because we started our freshman year what? Three, no, four freshmen with Kenny yeah. Walker and a Juco transfer and Shea Cotton. And mm -hmm. we didn't know what we were doing at freshman for real. We were just playing ball. Okay, and ball, just yeah. uh, the guidance we were getting from our coach at that point, it it wasn't really helping us turn the, turn the corner. So, you know, we had our discussions, and I was like, really, what do you want me to do? Because Shea is the oldest, but he was kind of behind the eight ball a little bit because he really didn't – mess with us off the court mainly because you hey, know he, Kelly got he coming say, in he and was everybody saved else and y'all what he was saying y'all what he was saying y'all what you, you oh. think of it that way 
<laughs> you can put it that way, but y'all, y'all knocking, just, y'all knocking everything down on the yard, and he saved under the Denny Chimes reading the Bible. I get it, hey, I get it. No, it's kind of hey, like hey, God. Hey, it's kind of like God crew. Marvin, <laughs> Marvin, and Justin, and 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 uh, and and Stephen, they're whores. Me, I'm saved because I'm telling you. When Stephen take them glasses off, the women are in trouble. Because I'm telling you, when he take them glasses must off, be nowhere his, near you while you talking. His pants like coming off with it. His pants <laughs> coming off with it. So, so you call him Steve Clark Kent. You call him the Black Superman. Is what you say? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like right now, right That's now. That's what you saying. Hey, right now, I guarantee he on he on this this this, Zoom, this call right now with no bottoms on. I'm telling you now, he ain't got no bottoms. On. Hey, hey, Steve, he don't he don't change in the phone booth. He changed in the old pacer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so so when y'all okay, so when y'all played, have, have, did they did they change the shorts yet? Did they make the shorts longer, or were y'all playing? Cause that's why I quit basketball. You know, you can't be make going for a layup and your and your balls come out. I ain't like all that, so I had to quit. You know, and play football. No, I think and we, I, and think I we just had sit on the more bench. of I really a. Do that. Yeah, I think we had more of a baggy type short than what they doing yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had, when I was we playing, had, we you know, you had bag in short. Yeah, we our shorts were way bigger. Like they, like now, college basketball, they went back to the. The, the shorter shorts or whatever like that. We, yeah, we couldn't have, we wouldn't have did that. Not at all. Yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't like that. I ain't like that. No. Well, Steve, y'all was out there playing nursing home diapers. What you thought was going to happen? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, bro, geriatric diapers. <laughs> hey, man, I, hey, I played ninth grade basketball with Coach Miller, and I quit because somebody called me. He's like, damn, Steve, you thick? I just quit. <laughs> Well, Steve, you went to Hill, Chris? I went to Central. <laughs> I, I, I went to Central, yeah. Central. Yeah, Central. I went, yeah, I was I went to Central uh, uh, hold on. three times. Uh, 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 Steve, hold on, time out. Did you just say and coach said you were did you just say coach said you were thick? Not the coach, the one the player said, hey man, you thick. Hey, hold I on. Just quit. <laughs> <laughs> I just quit. No dude should be referenced as being thick, Steve. <laughs> Hey man, hey, hey, my shorts was a little tight and they had me pushed up in the back. I'm like, bro, I can't do this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you got questions again, feel free. You can always type them on Twitter. You can, you know, hey, on the Carolyn's Treasure Shop Facebook page, and we'll get to your questions. Anything you want to ask these guys. <laughs> I guarantee you we're talking about the things you will not hear anywhere else in any interview. So that's why we're the, the best on YouTube. <laughs> so let's talk about the groupies, guys. How many groupies y'all had? What's going on? Because Marvin said he had a lot back in the day. What's happening? What's happening? God. The group, the groupie problem was the, the reason Bama Sci Fi started. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, deny, yeah, yeah. deny, deny. That's all y'all oh. <laughs> plausible deniability. All right. Stick to the story. I thought it was a safe place. <laughs> yeah, it's a safe place. <laughs> we, we, we are a safe place. Of, we don't want to get none of us in trouble, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm never going to name names, but, you know. Hey, man, this is a safe place. Name them. Oh, exactly. Get my pen, baby. Get my pen. Get my pen. <laughs> <laughs> Back to basketball. Erwin, uh, you were an All-American Conference Player of the Year. And you beat some of Shaq's records. I mean, that's pretty awesome. What really laid the groundwork uh, to allow you to reach those uh, levels? Man, um, like like Ross, you know, really coming in. Um, you know, I came in from a from small town, three A school, whatever. So you know, uh, I think um, my background from where I came from, I think that was part of the foundation. You know, me being able to just, you know, work hard and just persevere through through um, a lot of different things. Um, I know my freshman year, I think my freshman year when I came in, I was having, I don't know why, but my, I was having back issues and stuff like that. And so that was one of the things that I had to kind of fight through. But um, just having, like I said, just having, you know, having teammates, um, you know, and being able to, to grind and being able to get along with guys, um, you know, you know, getting get along with guys or whatever. Um, that was, I think, that was one of the most important things because you can have one of the best teams in the world. I mean, some of the best players in the world, but if you don't get along as a team, uh, you know, you don't get along as friends. Um, you know, it, it it ain't gonna it ain't gonna go good out on the court. And so, one thing about us um, is that you know we always we stayed together. Um, 
you know, as, you know, teammates, all of us. You saw one of us, saw one, you saw three, four, five, six of us, whatever. I mean, we hung out. We did a lot of things together. And so I think that was one of the things, too, that kind of that kept us together. And I think that, you know, that was one of the reasons why. And, you know, just, you know, I, you know, I always, I always contribute, you know, trophies and stuff that, you know, that you win or whatever, especially team stuff. You have to contribute to it as a team, as a team trophy or team win because, you know, they help you out or whatever as well, even though you put in work. But, you know, a lot of things won't happen if you didn't have teammates and stuff out there on the court with you because they got a pad, they have to rebound, they have to shoot, they have to do other things just like you do. Okay, well, so I got a question. I took for Ron. Ron, you Ron now you obviously played with Irwin, right? Right? Okay, so and me, me, you you play with Ron. I mean, Irwin. Now, let me, ask, let me ask you something. Being around him, he is one of the nicest guys you would ever want to meet. I mean, I tried to get him to steal out of Walmart with me and everything. Won't do it. Won't do nothing. Just a good guy. <laughs> Have you ever seen this guy mean ever, like on the court? Have you ever seen him, like, just get somebody an elbow or something, just anything? I mean, because, you know. Now, I remember one time we was at Tennessee, uh -oh. and I didn't box out, and um, Marcus Hayslip caught a tip dunk, and he cursed me out. <laughs> it was my fault. Truthfully, it was my fault. I didn't box out and Hey Slip dunked it. And he let me know it. <laughs> but, but other than yeah, that, but no, you know man. What? I, I just I just can't see him cursing nobody out. It wasn't a typical curse. I hit like, hey man, freaking box out. That's what he said. <laughs> 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 Come on, good golly Kind of along those lines, but yeah. A, a, a hey, lot louder and, and some other letters in. Right. Hey, but, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you man. like Herb Jones, Owen. Herb Jones. What, hey, what do you say? What do you say about Herb Jones? I don't know. I, 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 think, I, think, he on, I think he on AOL dial-up service. I'm not sure, but he's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually uh, he's calling from 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 about a bag phone right now. So you got to kind of let the, yeah. But but you know what though, Steve, I'm not gonna believe that the SEC Player of the Year was out there saying what the freak. I ain't buying that. But yeah. in, in all seriousness, though, Erwin, I gotta ask you though. What was it like being the SEC Player of the Year? Because that's not an honor that's awarded to a lot of people. It's one person per year. Mm -hmm. So to be that one person, that had to mean a lot to you. And the body of work that's required to get that award, man, because, I mean, you got to look at it. We're, SEC is a tough conference, man. So what was that like? I mean, it was it was a great honor. I mean, looking looking back on it, looking back, looking back on it now, you appreciate it more. But um, you know, back then, you know, you, you know, you, you kind of took it in, you know. Yeah, it was it's a good honor, but um, you were just, you know, we 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 had such a good year that year, man. So we we were really just kind of like just riding the wave of the success of the team. Um, you know, like I said, I don't take anything away from this as the player of the year, but now I look at it more like, damn, like I did do that. Like, you know, it's been, you know, we still hadn't, we still we had had a player of the year. Uh, um, anybody win a play a year since 2002, so we probably gonna have we probably gonna have somebody that that gonna that's gonna win the play of the year this year, whether it's either whether it's Herb or whether it's you know John Petty or whatever I think, but um so you know looking back on it now I mean it was a big deal but you know back then I was just looking at okay yeah it, it was, it's good. But not it's good, but you know, like the overall success of the team, I was just happy that we was able to win. We like Pitway was able to make the layup, and that kind of helped us out or whatever like that for us to be able to win the title. And you know, it, it was just it was just you know we was just I was just looking at that at that you know even though we worked we worked hard um, as a team um, all you know all across the board. But you know, it's like I said, man, the play of the year was great, but it was uh, it really was a team thing. I hear what you're saying, but come on now. <laughs> you're the SEC player of the year. All SEC, all American. So same thing for you, Rod, because you see, like my all SEC plaque is right here on the wall. I mean, to get those things, they don't give those to everybody. That's true. So, you had to show us, though. You know, he had to show that. Uh, <laughs> no, he had to show that. Hey, he got, he got to show that. Yeah. He got to show that. Well, I mean, it's right there. I mean, yeah. oh, wait, hold on. Let me. Well, Punch your accolades, dog. It's all right. Punch your accolades. Hey, hey, Put them out well, I tell you what, since you, hold on. Let me go get my, I got a medal. Because I, for, for, for the most porn <laughs> hub subscriptions, let me go get it. I'll be right back. Don't nobody want to see that medal from the Special Olympics you got. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Jeffy Dahmer. Come on now, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh 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 uh. I'm black. Jesse. Jesse Dahmer. 
Yes. <laughs> yes, it don't. Yes, it don't. <laughs> All right, so, okay, Aaron, I, I got to touch on this. Now, and it wouldn't be me if I did. All right. So, I want to speak on somebody who's very, very special to me. And I want you to um, speak on him as well. Coach Kevin Kroon was my high school football coach. He, to me, and this is no lie, one of the greatest men that ever lived. Still my role model, a great man. I've learned a lot from him. To this day, he still texts me just to see how I'm doing. And he's like one of my number one role models. Can you speak on Coach Kevin Kroon for me, please? Oh, man, I mean, you know, he's, a, um, like I said, I, I don't have, he, he's been good to me. Um, it's just I, ever since I've known him, you know, he's been, uh, you know, he's been good to me. I, you know, don't have anything bad to say about him. Like, he's been, um, you know, he's been, you know, he's been instrumental, in, 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 um, instrumental to me as well. I mean, he's, he said things to me. He, he's given me advice over the years or whatever. So, um, so again, like I said, you know, it, it, you know, for him, to be able to speak to me or whatever, even though, you know, you know, he, he had his, um, you know, at, at the capstone, he had his ups and downs or whatever, the capstone or whatever, but he still remained, remained true to the program, uh, remained true to, you know, to the Bama product or whatever, even though he didn't, you know, he wasn't able to produce out on the field like, like this, because I heard he was one of the, you know, I heard he was one of the top, um, well, top running backs in the state or whatever like that He before he went to Bama and he ended up being hurt thinking like his freshman year, so he didn't get a chance mm -hmm. to play anything. And so for him to, you know, do that and continue to stick with it and, you know, and, and grind and do, you know, that says a lot about him. Yeah. Phenomenal man. Phenomenal man. I just wanted to touch on that, you know. Marvin, you know Coach Kroon, right? You remember Coach Kroon, right? Yeah, I know Coach Kroon, man. A great yeah. brother. Mm-hmm. He'd be out with the University of Church over there, University Boulevard. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, God, yes. Great man. You need yeah, some Coach Kroom in your life, Marvin. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, I, I you, do want to talk about you got Pornhub medals. Apparently, you wouldn't listen to <laughs> Exactly. I don't know what part of the sports hey, you saw. I listen, but I didn't listen to everything. Like Wait a minute. What you like about Herb's game, though, Earl? <laughs> Man, I mean, her. I mean, Herb is a you know he he do it. Um, he's a do it all man. He do it all type of player, man. I mean, um, man. He, I mean, he 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 puts it on the line every night. Uh, injury or no injury, um, he does what he has to do. And so you know you need you need players like that or whatever because at the end of the day, um, everybody has to play a role. If you look at if you look at all the championship teams that are, um all the championship teams that are going. Um, that that are winning, um, you have to have the guys that play role. Everybody can't be a superstar. I mean, I'm sure you know anybody that play team sport, they know that you can't. Everybody can't be a a, a star. So you have to have just like for us, whatever. I mean, when we play, you know, you had guys to score, you had guys to rebound, you had guys, you know, assists, whatever. You you have to play a part. And so, um, but Herb, man, he's just all around player. I think he's kind of the glue to the whole entire team. Um, I mean, I think that. He does so much. I think you you can see that see how um, how the team looks differently when he's on the court and off the court. Well, you know what though. You know I what, man. I, 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 I have to I have to apologize to Aaron and Rod. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Marvin and Justin had to tell me I haven't even been watching Alabama basketball. I didn't even know they were that good. So I want to apologize. I didn't even I hadn't even been watching. So now, but I'm kind of afraid to watch because I'm, I'm, if I start watching, they'll probably lose. So I just need to just mind my you business and, 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 and cheer from afar, huh? <laughs> um, <laughs> but 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 back to you, yep. Rod. Rod, one of the things that I, yep. I, I love the most about watching Alabama basketball was you, Rod. When you had the, the free well braids with the headband coming down that court, Ooh. you know, always looking like you're ready to do somebody. What was that? What was going through your mind? Because you always came down the court looking like you ready to kill everything in front of you. You had that. Mm. Yeah, but the trail just break? did it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, it's just a that I guess you had to possess just to compete in the SEC at times. Because a lot of it was just us kind of just winking it at times. 
but just wanted to represent the name on the back. We represent the name on the front. So we just had to come out and just get it every night because each night was tough in the SEC. The team was a slouch, so just had to bring it. Well, I tell you, we got we got a fan comment. They say, "What were Irwin and Rod's uh, best Bama moments on and off the court?" So before y'all answer, I'm gonna tell you one of Rod's worst moments off the court. Me and Rod had the exact What'd same truck. We had the same truck in college, a maroon Tahoe with the gray trim at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rod, leave. <laughs> yeah, Rod, Rod, Rod had about four fifteens, and he thought he was doing something. I pulled up on Rod one day in my truck with giving him that business. <laughs> he didn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> Not necessarily a bad moment. <laughs> I made Rod go buy a whole new stereo system. <laughs> Rod, Rod, you, Rod, you, your, your life. Must have been terrible if you got out flexed by Marvin Constant. Your life is <laughs> awful. <laughs> I, I got one question. Was it pant way or was it the shoes? <laughs> a little bit of both. Um, yeah, I agree. A little bit of both. Hey, what color were those shoes, by the way? Reasons. Reasons. Oh, that was yeah, that's red. Yeah. yeah. They were what they would call sport red when they're selling crimson. and they were sport red. Exactly. Sport red, yeah. And, and, and yeah. they were patent, weren't they patent leather or something like that too? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had them. I yeah. had them in every other color. Wow. Yeah, them shoes, them, them, them shoes, they was, they, well, I, I the couldn't ones see them. They ain't had them in the practice. The told me to get rid of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, at least y'all went on the football team. Tank Connerly, the old equipment manager, when they showed up with them knockoff Jordans that they gave us that was white and purple, <laughs> we like, this ain't small colors. What we supposed to do with some knockoff Jordans? I don't even know what them were. They ain't. <laughs> Need to say none of us they came hey, to the whole team. Hey, we I remember when I was at Parkview and we had a you know Parkview Learning Center. We had <laughs> we had a little basketball team. And they gave us some knockoff Jordans. Hey, you know the Jordan on the side of the shoe had braids. I'm like, what kind of? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. they got y'all the mellows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> hey, guys, I want I want to touch on that uh, the SEC championship win against Florida. Can y'all kind of go go through what that was like for y'all and how important was it to the program at that time? At that point, I think 02, I came last time, maybe probably 87 the last time um, Bama had won the SEC championship. But at that point, for all the things through from our freshman year and our sophomore year, not getting the SEC nod because our strength of schedule wasn't that strong, mm -hmm. getting that SEC title that year kind of solidified everything that went on in the past because we knew we were good enough. But the public didn't really respect it. So right. with winning one outright, not having to go to the tournament to get an SEC championship, but winning one during the regular year, that was big for us. Do y'all think because you played yeah. basketball yeah. at a football school that it impacted how people viewed y'all's performances? But if you think about it, the football team wasn't doing that great. While we were there, I was going to say that. We oh, I was going to say that. Oh, I was going to say that. Yeah, oh, I was going to say that. Uh oh, uh oh. Yep. I was about to say uh -oh. that. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now, do I need uh -oh. do, I, do I need to go get my 1999 SEC? You you could Google, SEC. do whatever oh, you want. Hey, we hey, hey. That's how we got there. <laughs> hey man, hey. you see this? Look, DCF okay. mode, 1999. Bama, Bama was losing. Bama was losing to Hillcrest. Hold everybody. Listen, <laughs> hey, yo, bro, I got a vote. Got Hey, see when that, we right? touched down on campus, when we touched down on campus, things changed. Mm -hmm. So that was not that was a ninety nine before we got there. When we got there, we got there from from what? Not the summer ninety nine on up. I mean, it was basketball. All right, yeah. so summer ninety nine, we were SEC champions. In okay, we weren't there though. We yeah, were, we, we were, we were in the AAU. <laughs> no, yeah, we had just got, got there. there. If you <laughs> just got, got there, there in the summer. If you got there in the summer of ninety nine. 
we won the SEC championship in the fall. Well, actually, that season gone, Marvin. Fall. Let that go. That season did. It that gone. was freshman. That was freshman. Real talk, though. Real talk, though. How that was hanging out on the strip team going to tournament, do y'all think? How far can we go in the tournament? I mean, I, if we, yeah. if we, if we, if we, the last, the last few weeks, um, you know, we had, we hadn't been real consistent, um, on, you know, um, on the offensive end, I would say, um, the defensive end, we still been playing, um, you know, really good defense. Um, if we, if we turn, if we turn our offensive number back around, you know, and play like we've been playing, I mean, we, I think, I honestly think that we could make, we could make it to the final four, honestly. Um, like I said, our defense has been 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 top notch the whole year. Um, you know, and you're gonna have you're gonna have offensive woes during the year. I mean, your legs get tired. You know, just a whole bunch of things. Referees give a call to here there to a home team. You just never know. Sometimes you're off, but you know, as long as you keep your defense up, and you know, we we have played pretty good defense or whatever. Um, we have played pretty good defense overall the, the, the entire season. But I think our offense just need to, you know, we need to click. I know they're playing right now, Auburn, so I don't know what the score is, but I hope I'm hoping that they, you know, 35-22. Yeah, minute and a half left for the halftime. Who we'll winning? Let me, let me ask y'all this. Did you just ask yeah. who winning, man? We have 13. All right, let's go. I just gotta make sure. Gotta make sure. Gotta make sure. But I think for us, man, the change of scenery and a change of type of opponent because the SEC is always a grind whether it's the last team in the league or the first team in the league and I think a change of pace a new sure. venue and an opponent from a different conference will kind of trigger us in a different way we've been beat up guys trying to get healthy but I just think like a little change of pace would be good for us I think shots mm -hmm. will start falling again so, but, but, who, but, who, but who's been somebody and it could be a young player that y'all been the most impressed with Shit for me, Jawan Gary. Even yeah, after he said for finish him, for him, our game, Primo. He still came back. Primo. I like Primo, but he, Primo. But, he but he ain't over the last few like over the last few weeks he's been non-existent. I mean, I mean, I, I mean Primo started off really well, but over the last yeah he ain't he been non-existent over the last last since, since the Auburn weeks. game at Auburn. Yeah, I see you, they you pulled really him out of the lineup. You haven't said his name much, huh? I see they pulled him out of the starting lineup, didn't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Let me I mean, he's young, this. man, but he'll be yeah, better he later on. What What has Nate Oates been able to do that the previous coaches couldn't do? Bring excitement to the offensive end. <laughs> yeah. Because if you take you Grant, right. everything was slow paced, side by side, screen roll on one side, switch the ball over screen on the other side. Clock for no reason. I mean, it's just like if, if you could tell kids you can shoot as many threes as you want as long as you play D, who wouldn't go crazy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd be out there <laughs> missing everything. I foul, brick, give me you know back. What I'm that's, that's exactly, you know, that's exactly right up there, alley. You get to shoot any shot you want as long as you play D. Okay. They out there running through a wall. Are mm -hmm. all the shots great? No. <laughs> but I mean, it, it's working for them. Uh, it's oh, working. I'm curious. Do y'all watch Alabama basketball games like I watch Alabama football games? Nobody likes to watch football games with me because they know it's finna be a whole situation. They like, man, sit down, like, man, shut up. Why are you in front of the TV screaming? Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, I do. <laughs> and if like, I feel like the crowd gonna be wrong, I have to watch it by myself. Hey, look, yeah. don't nobody like watching games with me. <laughs> They like, uh, uh, we gonna watch it over here. You go, cause I'm, I'm in front of the TV. I'm screaming like somebody could actually hear me. And then Pete Golden, he was having my blood pressure boiling this season. I, I mean, it was, it was a situation every Saturday. My God. Yeah, you know the crazy thing, I've never really watched SEC games by a player to know schemes and different, you know, lineups and who should be where or cover two, cover whatever. I have no idea what that is. I've always hooped. But that would be interesting to kind of see it that way because pre-snap, I don't know what's going on. I just know guy go in motion, can't nobody move. I right, snap it. But just to just to see on the defensive end, like Marvin said, Pete Golden might have us in the wrong formations. Ain't no yeah, might have us. He did have us in the wrong situation ninety percent of the time. 
Yeah, I remember you 9%. posted. I had, I had no idea what you were talking about in the post, but it it was a cool post where you said post have been cover zero instead of cover two or something like that. And I'm like, okay, I don't, whatever. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Does Golden make it through this year? I think he 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 will get through this year, but if it's anything like last year with all the players he has returned, I think this will be his last go round. <laughs> Guys, uh, John Petty had the opportunity to uh, go pro last year, but decided to come back for his senior year. You really don't see that these days. Um, how important was that for him to be back with this team? And what kind of – how important was that business decision as far as his NBA future? Well, I listened he to – He came back because – okay, when you, when you do that, they actually tell you straight up, yes or no, where you're going to get drafted. All right. And if you're going to get drafted at all. Yep. So we don't know what words it was that they told him. But you see, he back in Tuscaloosa. I'm going to say so, this. I'm proud, of Petty. I'm proud of Petty for this reason. Because he and Sexton came together. And for the longest time, he tried to compare himself to Colin Sexton. Now, Petty's like, let me be John Petty. Because when, yeah. when, when they both first came in... There was a lot of times Patty was trying to be like Sexton. Well, I watched I watched the interview he did after the game, uh, after the Mississippi State game, or whatever. He said it best. He said, you know, he came back. You know, he he worked on some things, but he said that you know teams wanted uh, teams or uh, GMs they wanted to see um, was he a winner or could you know could he win games? And so I think that I think that he's 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 come in this year and he he had answered that you know answered that call song. You know, of course, yeah, you know, now. yeah, I mean, you know, he comes in, you know, of course, you know, he, he takes, you know, everybody takes, but everybody takes some, some tough shots or whatever. But at the same time, like you said, he's a champion now. So you can't, you can't take that away from him. You can't take that away from him, man. And a lot of people will never understand what it feels like to be crowned SEC champion. So, when you know, when you get that ring and you get that plaque, man, it's a powerful thing, man. So, you know, to me. Yeah, it was a business decision, but he's also going to get to have that moment that he'll share with his brothers for the rest of his life, just like y'all. Because I'm sure a lot of y'all talk on a regular basis because I still talk to the guys who I played with on a weekly basis. So, you know, yeah. that's a moment that you get to share with your brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but me and Erwin, we had a background before we even got to Tuscaloosa. So, yeah, you know, we played. We, we still played. Yeah, we played. Yeah, we AAU together. Like, we, we, start, we started the lasers. <laughs> yeah. I remember the lasers. <laughs> But Irwin, oh, yeah, so yeah, as, as a big Irwin, like, what have you enjoyed about Alex Reese's growth as a guy that's starting to really be more of that big in his latter days in Alabama? Alex Reese. Yeah, I, I mean, he, he's he's come around. I mean, um, you know, Alex is, you know, he you know he's a senior. He he um he does a lot. He does a lot for the team. I know he's you know each every year he's been banged up. You know whether his knee, his hip, and stuff like that. So and he and he's fought through that um, those different injuries, and that's part of it. Um, but for him or whatever for for the team, I think that um, you know people they talk about it all the time that we need we need more consistent inside scoring. Where we need you know we need to finish you know we need to finish around the rim more. I mean and you know they talk about it and you see it. Um, like they said, the numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie. Whatever. We still need to be. We still need to get consistent on that side of the ball as far as just being able to finish on the inside. Um, a lot more than we have. But I think that that he's made, he's taking some some really great strides or whatever. Um, but the type of offense that we're running now is it requires him or they want him more on the outside. So he's not able because he can't actually post up, but he don't, he, you know, he's, he don't do it as much because of the type of offense, you know, they, they use him as a pick and pop, pick and pop five. Pick yeah, and I pop be four. wanting to post up, especially when we go on a drop, get your ass on the block, make a layup <laughs> to start making jump shots. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. Hey, now, hey, hey, now Rod, now you remember how you said you don't understand nothing about these coverages. When you say get on the block, I don't understand nothing about what you talking about. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> That's that's fair. We hey look, we're gonna get together and we going we're gonna get each other right. We're gonna compare notes. We're gonna we're gonna switch sports and we're gonna educate each other. Only basketball <laughs> term I know is pick and roll. Outside of that, I'm <laughs> I'm lost. You you all right, good. guys. We're, uh, we're gonna educate each other. That's all right. Uh we're getting close to the end of our show. Uh one last question for both of y'all. What was your favorite or best moment playing at Alabama? We'll start with you, mm. Rod. Uh, 
shit. Other than the one that championship, I think we were in the NRT going to play. I think we do. Purdue, yeah. Um, yeah, that was a good game. We got on a flight, and uh, Montel Jordan ended up being on the flight. And we yeah. sang, this is how we do it, the whole flight. <laughs> One of his songs, we sung it the whole flight and got on his nerves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That, that was classic right there, because it like you can't get out. And <laughs> most of us were bigger than him, All so... Right. <laughs> hey man, but he, hey Grizzle, but he was tall. He is, he is tall. I think he like six he four, was, six five. Yeah, he is tall. But like a few of us picked the verse, and we were just saying it all through the plane, the whole flight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why? Who was pop locking it hard though? Who was pop locking with it? Pop locking. Is that how that, that old earth, is are that you, man? Oh yeah, we yeah, we we didn't pop lock. We hey, that was that was way out of us. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that was early two thousand. Well, well, who were dancing with still, it? Well, who were dancing with it then? Probably D. Smith, since he was the closest one to George in Atlanta. He he was the one. Yeah, Smith. Yeah. Probably Ernest Memphis. He was juking. Other than that, <laughs> we're pretty much chilling for real. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's probably about it for real. E- either uh. Ernest or D. Smith. Uh, Erwin, what was your your best moment or your favorite moment playing at Alabama? Man, that that what he just what Rod just mentioned about Montel, but also um, just just being able to just being able to um to come out and win and being able to do um you know do do something that hadn't been done um you know at Alabama for a long time you know for us to be. You know, majority of us being Alabama kids and coming in and you know playing at Alabama and and uh you know doing it and doing doing some special whatever and just kind of I think just kind of starting um a trend and you know we had guys that come in after us and uh you know and and they kept they kept they kept you know kept running with the torch and it was just it was just it was, I think that was the most special for me. In fact, uh, we got some people in the audience right now who are wanting you to uh, relive that moment and saying, "This is how we do it." <laughs> they want us to sing it. This is this is this is trending right now, guys. So if y'all want to <laughs> get our show, hey, I, see, I'm a cast hey, I, I see it. <laughs> I see all the comments coming through. <laughs> yeah, that 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 was way back when the, the vocal song. <laughs> I, 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 I started singing here. My daughter gonna come in like, "Daddy, what are you doing?" She said, exactly. she, don't, "Don't embarrass she said, us." What you say? She the way my throat set up these days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, yeah. We have y'all back. Y'all can y'all can prepare ahead of time. That way, y'all can break it down to start the show. All the way down. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but that's not, that, see, that, that, that won't be good for the show. That's all not even popular anymore. I got a, I, I got shot Marvin out for that forty-five. He got it hung up there, got it framed up there. Oh yeah, man, I did a lot of work in that jersey, man. Nice little shadow box. I see you. Mine still yeah, folded got, up in the duffel bag. See, I got the forty oh, old helmet right here. I got everything on my list. Did a lot of work that's in that stuff. year. That's a that's oh, actually a good a good segue to uh, move into the closing section. Marvin, what we do all every week is talk about your book. How's your book doing? And how can we get our hands on it? What's going on with uh, 40 Plus Strong? Well, you can, my, you can go to my website, 40plusstrong.com. That's the number 40plusstrong.com. We got a fitness book, whatever you need, three different uh, skill levels, depending upon where you want to start, whatever you need. You need workout gloves. We got the 40 Plus Strong workout gloves. We got the 40 Plus Strong hoodies in multiple colors, gray, pink, whatever you need. You need sauna vest to cut some belly fat. We got the 40 plus strong sonar vest. Man, we got everything. You know what I'm saying? We got the patella straps. Hey, we got everything you need. 40 plus strong, baby. Hey, even if you're in the hooper, you need elbow pads and knee pads. We even got that on 40 plus strong. See, don't put a pose that be filing elbow pads and knee pads. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever you need, we got at 40 plus (laughs) strong.com. Well, guys, I want to thank you all for uh, for jumping on here. Before you go, if you would, tell us what's next for you guys uh, and how we can get in touch with you on social media. And we'll start with you, Erwin. 
Man, boy. Oh, you can get in touch with me or just Erwin Dudley on uh, Facebook. And then um, on Instagram, it's Erwin Dudley underscore Dudley35 um, on Instagram. I think that's my Instagram tag. Um, and then just and then just Erwin Dudley on Twitter. Um, what's next for me, man? Just, you know, I hadn't – I retired from basketball, and so I just – I've been, you know, taking care of my, little, my kiddos, but – Right now, I'm looking at hopping into hopping into the coaching field. So that's that's probably going to be my next. next that's going to be my next thing. <laughs> Don't do it. High school and AAU. Oh, um, right now I'm looking at looking at high school. Whatever. I mean, you know, EJ coming along too. So I'm definitely going to be doing some AAU stuff too. He's coming along. Um, and, you know, he's playing now. So that'll yeah. be definitely definitely AAU. They got you know they, they started practice uh actually last week or whatever. So we are um. We're getting ready, you know. We're getting ready for that the AAU tournament or something this summer. I tell you this, man. If coaching basketball is anything like coaching football, good luck. Them hours I put in, I knew. My hat goes off to anybody who coaches, but I can't do it. <laughs> it was that bad. It is is that bad. You talking about leaving at 10, 11 o'clock at night, getting up at six o'clock the next morning, to go do it all over again. I'm good on that. <laughs> hey, hey, that's that's just the dedication, man. Hey. You had to put in and get it, man. Hey, hey, you hey, you think Saban look at you think Saban get good as he is, man? Just you know, by putting in a couple hours a day, man. You know what? You're right. But my thing is, after I played football for 20 years of my life, I didn't yeah. want to keep spending my life on that. It's like cause for me, I just want to do something different with life, opposed to doing the same thing that I've been doing my whole life all day long. I mean, I love yeah. it, don't get me wrong, but for me, I found other things to be more important to me because most coaches they get divorced real quick because the wives ain't going for that because they never at home and I just didn't want that in my life. But sometimes they you gotta have the understanding in your lady. She could be an ex athlete to understand the grind that it goes through because she'd have been through it. But if she's not and she don't really pick up on, on understanding what it goes into being the wife of a player or the wife of a coach, that's how a lot of times it happen. Right, mine get mad if I work out too long, so I know that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> hey, look, I'll be right here getting it, and it'd be the same thing. I'm right here. <laughs> like you worked out for two hours. Uh, is that a problem? <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. I, I, I was gone for two hours. My I got you. Hey, uh, Erwin, you got some approval. You got approval from the audience, man. That says, Coach Dudley, that sounds great. So I appreciate that. <laughs> Absolutely, appreciate man. That. I just well, want Ryan, what, what's next? I just want my credential. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> no Rod, what's next for you, and how can we find you on social media? Uh, social media, Twitter is, I think it's Everybody Loves Grizz. I think that's my Twitter handle. And uh, IG is just my name. I don't have a Facebook. I never have. But next for me, man, just being a father, raising my daughter. I was coaching a uh, post grad last year in College Park, but you know, COVID shut that down. They started back up, but I didn't venture back out towards it. Just kind of distancing myself from it until health wise things kind of get a little more on the Indian side to do that. But right now, just being a father, working, working out whenever I can, and just trying to keep up. Hey, James, I will relay that message to Steve. James said a basketball <laughs> alum don't have terrible ceiling fans. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all tune in each week, man, but uh, Steve Brown grades every athlete who comes on here by their ceiling fans. So <laughs> he left before oh, he got I'm a chance my, to see y'all. I'm in the basement. So, Ain't no ceiling fan down here. You got, you got ducks and <laughs> unfinished walls. But I'm in my little dungeon. <laughs> well, guys, uh, great show. I appreciate y'all coming on. Uh, and quite honestly, your team is probably the best team we've ever had. And not, I'm not just saying that because we were there to witness it. There was something special about you guys, all you guys, man. And I hadn't seen a team that's matched that yet. You know, maybe we'll see it later on down the road, but man, it'd be hard to do. But, yeah, thank y'all for coming on. Yeah, appreciate, we appreciate that, man. Hey, guys, I want to have a, man. a special thank you to my fellow all-SEC recipients. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for time with it. Uh. <laughs> so wrong with you, right. boy. Hey, we're we're not your bite. I, I was just happy that I made it so y'all could hear me. <laughs> That's it. No we're, doubt. 
Yep. Forty five minutes in, he, he was heard. That's what's <laughs> yeah, he was heard. <laughs> got got his sound audience, right. <laughs> I want to remind the audience: tune in next week. We will announce our guests in a couple of days. Trust me, it's, it's a guest or two, uh, three guests that you definitely want to be a part of. Follow us on Twitter at the Bama Standard. All right, guys, uh, this pull Alabama through uh, against Auburn. And, man, again, thank you all so much. We appreciate thank it. Roll, thank you all. Yeah, roll, 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 roll tide. No doubt. Roll tide. Roll tide.